Welcome to the first episode of the Ottawa Docu Series. We are your hosts, Benjamin Guthrie and Mika Lev. And today we are going to unoak advertisements in the wine industry. That is, to get to the bottom of the issue. In North America, as wine consumption has been increasing, the context has been different, and thus the meanings are different. In our polysemitic society, wine carries just as many meanings as it does aromas. When I see that ad specifically, it's playing off of the rich heritage that's found within the brand of the wine itself. So there's, it's speaking, you know, about where it's from and why it's so good. So it's not necessarily talking about the context as to when and where you should enjoy it and why you should even enjoy it. But it's more so, you know, this wine is from this specific place, which is why it's so good. When we look through a winery trial like we are now, you will find a bottle of wine that still has images of chateaus, vineyards, and those sort of images that conjure up the idea of quality. But yet, why are you advertising quality when the bottle of wine is only $14, when most consumers already know that they're going to go to the vintage section to find a much higher quality for a much higher price? As seen in this advert for Behringer wine, the landscape imagery takes center stage, while the text reiterates the specialness of the location, Knights Valley. It appears that wine advertisers believe that consumers are developing a geographic awareness and intellectual understanding of where the wine growing takes place, which thus impacts their choice of wine. So where do you see wine marketing going in the future? Um, really, I see it just being a lot more commercialized, a lot less conceited, a lot less, uh, you know, not, not as high class or high scale as before. It's still going to be with a little bit of class, but it won't be as prestigious and um, has focused on the um, tradition aspect and the geographical aspect. And you're also starting to see that the general um, retail price of wine is going down. And it's being much more, um, I say, not necessarily accepted, but it's being brought up to the mainstream a lot more. So marketing is essentially, um, it's it's a result, it's an effect of consumer, consumer spending, consumer preferences. So because of that, wine marketing is going to just take off. When you take a look at some of wine's competitors in terms of small percentage alcoholic beverages such as beer or spirits, the other two varieties of alcohol have already caught up. So for example, when you look at a beer ad and you see a bunch of guys hanging out and they're bringing a keg to a party or on a casual occurrence tailoring towards a younger audience of people who are not necessarily looking for luxury and alcoholic beverages but focusing on does it taste good, is it cheap and can I have it more than a couple times a week if I wanted to. Realistically, with beer and spirits, they're already there. They're already at the point where they need to be to successfully advertise for the more casual drinking occurrence, for the more casual, fun crew who's going to be looking for this drink. And that's really where wine advertisements need to be if they want to succeed and keep up with their competitors in the future.